So consider this question. What are some functions of money? Well, money serves as an avenue of storage of value over time, enabling us to use it as a medium for exchange or transaction. Now, without it, we will probably have to resort to barter trade, which then depends on how well we can actually bargain. Definitely not the most efficient way to purchase things, right? Money is thus also serving as a unit of measurement reflecting the relative worth of the goods and services. And hence, during times of hyperinflation, when money loses its value and thus its functionality, it can cause quite a lot of inefficiency in the economy. Now that we understand just how high inflation can cause much inefficiency to occur, Let's consider the consequences from the perspective of its impact on different economic agents, namely the producer, household, and government. Let's look at the impact on producers. So during times of inflation, one may consider that the rise in prices is good for producer because it can also increase the revenue. But it is also important to consider that inflation can also affect the factors market, in other words, the input markets. So as firm cost production increases as well, whether the producer can benefit in times of inflation would depend on how fast the rise of the revenue is relative to the rise in cost. Now let's take ourselves to the usual times where economy face mild um, demand pool inflation. And so firms' revenue probably increase faster than the cost as often firms would probably um, have contractual agreements with their pre agreed cost price with their supplier, so cost increase would likely to increase slower over time. This cause producers to still therefore be able to increase its production to meet with the growing aggregate demand. So it's still profitable, and so continuing hiring labor in times of mild demand pool inflation as well. However, when there is high inflation, due to demand pool inflation, for instance. While the revenue can still increase due to the increase in price, but the increase in the price of input is likely to skyrocket as well, as input suppliers are probably unlikely to settle for the pre-agreed cost price since the prices increase just way too fast during high inflation. So with the cost of input increasing faster now, producer is thus likely to see their profit margin falling and so are discouraged from increasing its production and may even lay off workers. In other words, during times of high inflation, production and investment are likely to fall instead. In the case of high inflation in relation to cost push inflation, the producer would face significant fast rising cost of production, be it because of the request of higher wages by workers or higher input prices. Now this would result in the firm's profit being squeezed and thus for firms that are struggling with the weak demand may find it really hard to sustain their business by passing on the full effects of the rising cost to consumer in the form of higher prices. And thus the economy would see some of these less efficient firms shutting down or relocating their production to lower cost countries, basically countries with lower, relatively uh, lower inflation.